bit about our American Buffalo collection. I've always been drawn to things that were unique and different and unusual and I've always wanted to do something in American Buffalo but the hides that I always ran into had been processed and finished and stamped and, and looks of fake that I just uh, that just didn't interest me. And we got with our tannery, uh, put a process together to tan the, uh, the buffalo hides and I'm extremely pleased with what we came out with. Our hides have the natural uh, markings, the finishing to them, um, unlike the majority of uh, buffalo products you see on the market. You know, to me it's also definitely a piece of Americana. And so I want to give you a little bit of a look at what to expect when you buy uh, our buffalo products. The first thing you want to remember is they're not if you want something that's as slick and finished as the, uh, as the leather uh, seat in your car or truck, then you're not going to be pleased with the, with the, with the American Buffalo product. The Buffalo, in, just in itself, is a, uh, is a rugged animal. The hides have more blemishes on them. Uh, they're just a different uh, product than our regular steer hide. And again, like I said, that's what interests me about the whole thing. This is a, uh, our work bag done in American Buffalo. It'll have a lot more grain showing in it. It'll, be, um, it'll have a different character to the bag all around. Um, I'm, this is sitting on a buffalo hide. I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but you, have, you see scratches in here, you'll see flaws. If I can kind of raise this up a little bit, I'll try to here. But, you can uh, you can see some of the markings in here and uh, to me that's the uniqueness of it so those are things that you will find in our in our buffalo collection i also brought a piece from our private stock store which which is something that you can only buy online this is not in our catalog because these are all uh, one-of-a-kind pieces but you'll see, uh, you'll see markings like this on here. You're, you know, you're, you're going to see the scars. You're going to see the, the low grain and the leather. You'll also see markings like here on the end. You'll see things like this. Now, this is not in our regular Buffalo line, but this is in our private stock line. Um, and these are all one of a kind. And what happens with these products, the popularity of this leather is so much that uh, every time they go in the shop, they don't last, and they're also very limited um, in the uh, availability of the leather. So this is to the excite of showing a lot of character, which you will have to special order through our private stock uh, store, and you can see it online. This is our regular buffalo collection here. Also in our catalog, you will see in the very center spread, I have uh, written a whole article about the character of buffalo, what it looks like, and what to expect. It's one of my favorite things that we do, and if you like um, that and that suits your taste, you'll be extremely pleased with this. Also, you're going to find our buffalo products a little more expensive because of the uh, size of the hides that we buy, the amount of scrap leather that we have left over, and also we do know that they are, I guess, officially called a bison, but I just never thought the word bison made sense to me. I never heard of uh, bison bill, and I never heard of a bison nickel. It was a buffalo nickel, it's buffalo bill, and it's buffalo robe, it's, it, is, it is a buffalo hide, and I hope that you find this to be as interesting as I do, and I hope you're able to get one of these, and I think it will last a long time in your family and someday somebody's going to say this is a American Buffalo bag that belonged to my daddy or my granddaddy or my great uncle or whoever.